It is weird. It's strange because it, it feels weird and that my skin does feel really... Hey guys, my name is Christina. I'm 29 years old. And I have teamed up with Glowish and one of their dermatologists to help improve my skin. I've been on like a skincare journey, I guess you could say, just trying to figure out what works best for my skin. I used to not use any sort of product on my skin besides a lotion and kind of not so great cleansers and actually for a while I didn't even use a moisturizer because I have oily skin and yeah although there's so much information on the internet and good resources like YouTube to help us figure out what works good for our skin and gives us insight to different products Glowish actually teamed up a professional dermatologist with me to help figure out a product that I could use to improve my skin Today I'm going to share with you the process of how we figured out what this product would be. I'm going to share with you a survey that they had me fill out. I'm also going to share with you the prescription that they sent back to me after telling them all the products that I had in my routine and they told me what was probably going to work for my skin, what wasn't. I'm going to show you my skincare routine and what I changed because of their recommendations. And then of course I'm going to share with you the product that they recommended. I've tried it for two, actually three weeks now and I'm going to share my first impressions, what I think about the product and give you just an all-inclusive review. Hey guys, today I'm going to be answering the Glowish survey sheet so that when the dermatologist recommends either a new routine or a product, they have a better understanding of my skin type, kind of what's going on, and what I'm hoping to get out of the products or routine. Skin type, I would say that I have oily skin. I'm kind of oily all over, even during the winter, but especially when it warms up and is humid, I'm definitely oily. What's your biggest skin concern? Looking at this list, I would say oily skin and redness are my biggest concerns but not on this list is texture and that would be my number one concern because I've had acne I pop them incorrectly so now I have all these scarrings both color and just little crater things I guess you could call them what products did you use to overcome these concerns so I have been using the brand The Ordinary I've incorporated a lot of their products like their chemical peel, niacinamide and zinc, um, hyaluronic acid and their glycolic toner and all of those have really improved my skin but I'd like to see if we can try something new to improve it even more. Right now my normal skincare routine includes a cream cleanser, a, a moisturizer, a toner and a sunscreen. What other steps do you think you have to add? So adding in that niacinamide and zinc has really helped control my oiliness. One of the main things it does is control sebum production, so it has really helped with that oiliness. So if there's something else we could incorporate during this routine, then that would be helpful. Also incorporating that peel from The Ordinary has made a huge difference, so I would like to either keep that in my routine or replace it with something that would be more beneficial. Any questions about Skincare, so I'm pretty new to skincare. I'm learning a lot. I feel like it's improved a lot over these past months, but I still am learning, so guidance is really helpful for me. And also, just knowing what order to do the items in is also helpful. What changes do you wish to get from changing the routine or using the product? So, I would just like to see improvements from those issues that I mentioned before. I would like my redness to be reduced. I would like for the texture, most of all, to continue to fade, and I would like to keep this oil in control. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a few weeks and I have received my prescription from the Glowish Dermatologist. They've given me suggestions on both the skincare routine that I was doing, so I'll get to that. They've also sent me the product that they want me to go ahead and incorporate to improve my skincare routine and that is the Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. It's supposed to mattify 
and hydrate your skin, which sounds really great. You know, sometimes when we use these products that are supposed to mattify our oily skin, it just makes it really dry and not great looking. So if it's gonna look nice and hydrated, then that would be great. Now, I'm not really familiar with First Aid Beauty and I've never heard of this product, so this will be my first time seeing it and trying it out. And I know that this is supposed to be a gel formula, so that's different than anything that I have ever tried. I'm just used to the really cream moisturizers. So when you open it up, it does have this little protective plastic. What would you call it? It's this little protective thing there. And it is white, but it does look like ooh, a gel consistency. So it is more liquidy than cream for sure. I was not expecting that. If you don't know what you're expecting. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that much for now and we'll just jump into applying this. Okay, so first impressions, it doesn't feel oily, it doesn't feel greasy, so that's great. I feel like it's sinking in really nicely. It is weird. Okay, so it does, it's strange because it, it feels weird and that my skin does feel really like dry and matte, kind of like right after I wash my face. Looking at it, I see that little bit of reflection so it doesn't look dry right what do you think now this is something that can be used in the morning and evening so for the next two weeks I'll be trying this out using it in the morning and at nighttime pending that I don't have any sort of pending that I don't have any sort of negative reactions two of the highlighted ingredients are hyaluronic acid and also niacinamide is included in this formulation and those are two things that i have been using from the ordinary to kind of combat my oily skin the niacinamide in zinc has been really helpful and then hyaluronic acid we know helps to hydrate your skin so these have been really great and this product oh no i picked it up without the lid that was very dangerous um, but this product contains both of those ingredients, so we'll see if them being in one product like this is as effective as just using the individual product. I keep touching my skin because I want to feel like how matte it is, and as it sinks in, it feels more and more mattified. Some call-outs for this product is that it is vegan, it's cruelty-free, it's gluten-free, and it comes in recyclable packaging. Now this product is supposed to give us a shine free day that lasts all day and I'm really hoping that that's true because my biggest skin concern would have to be just having oily skin along with my scarring that I have from having acne in the past and just like the craters and the texture but this product should really help with the oiliness so I'm hoping that it does work. Like I said I've been using these two products from The Ordinary which have been great. This brand is just very inexpensive and they're straightforward with their ingredients so for this being something that's more expensive I would expect it to work even better if I were to pay this price point for something. It's been one week with this new product and I'm really leaning towards liking it especially with it being an all-in-one product kind of with those ingredients I like. It's just one product to put on really quickly so it's going to be great for when I'm in a rush. Those of you that don't like multiple step skincare routines you might really like this but for now I'm liking it and when I put makeup on over it I think it has a nice finish. I'm not looking too matte and dry. I still want to look hydrated and healthy so for now I'm really liking it. I use this morning and night and then during the morning I'll just go straight with, I'll just go straight to the first aid. Overall, I would rate the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer, I'd say like a 